So, on the heels of her of her winning the WWE World's Women's Championship, um, Liv Morgan has signed with Paradigm Talent Agency. And obviously, this is for things like movies, television shows, commercials. But I don't think that it's a coincidence that upon her, arguably her best run in WWE, that she is partnering up with an organization that is going to extend her reach into Hollywood. I want to know, how do you feel about Liv getting signed to a talent agency? And do you think it's because of where she is right now in her career? Um, she's also another person who I would never have guessed would have landed. I mean, not because she's she uh, of her look. She's gorgeous. I think everyone knows she's gorgeous. Um, but uh, she, she, I was in that pool of people, whether it was last year or the year before that, whenever she was going up against Becky Lynch and it felt like she was just... I I cringed every time she was at the mic. Um, It's interesting because this is the most confident I've seen her and the most convincing I've seen her Mm -hmm. um, on camera. Um, It kind of reminds me of when Rhea Ripley went away and we were talking about how she's not that good on the mic. She needs to work on her her delivery. She went, came back, had acting classes, and she's so aware. She's so aware of every little detail. It adds to everything she's been doing with her character with the whole sex appeal thing. Yeah. Um, the same thing is there with Liv Morgan. Inspire her voice being her voice. She makes it all work, and she doesn't move as robotic. So there's been so much development and maturity there. Um, and then on top of that, like I said, she's gorgeous. I could definitely see her be someone that's marketable in many in more ways than one. So yeah, I would have to contribute it to where she's been at in her career. Mm-hmm. Um, she, she has a great look. She has the look. Um, she's part of the hottest woman storyline going on currently, at least to me, um, with WWE. So, you know, why not? You know, like, I, do I expect to see her in a movie? Maybe a smaller role. You know, I don't really see her handling a, a, a gigantic role, but I could see her doing little roles, but more so um, probably more utilized for commercials. She gives me very much a commercial look, you know? So if she could do that, I, I could definitely see her flourishing in that and modeling. Hmm. What do you think? I think that it's not a coincidence that during arguably the hot, the hottest time in her career that, or around the hottest time in her career that she's getting signed to a talent agency. I believe that number one, number one, WWE is a star factory from, from the men's perspective and from the women's perspective. It's a bunch of great looking guys and girls that know how to get on a mic and speak that know how to perform that have a certain sex appeal to them. Once again, like this is not like live. We can go down the list of people in, in this organization that are considered to have sex appeal, whether we're talking about Roman Reigns, whether we're talking about, you know, Damian Priest, whether we're talking about Rhea Ripley, whether we're talking about Jade or Bianca or Liv or Rhea, right? WWE is filled with great looking people, in shape people who can publicly perform, who can speak on the mic. Th- those things alone will take you very, very far, right? And so it's no surprise to me that Liv Morgan is in the position that she's in and getting signed to a talent agency at this stage of her career. When we look at John Cena and we look at Roman Reigns and the fact that they were able to pivot into Hollywood and, you know, wrestling does not pay uh, like the most amount of money, considering the amount of time that you have to devote to it in order to get said money. And the fact that like a John Cena can do a voiceover commercial and he's getting millions of dollars, whereas in WWE, in order to get those millions of dollars, you got to be on the road 300 days a year. Right. You save a lot of time when you start to pivot into other industries that the, that don't consume much of your time that you can devote to other things. Um, so this is not a surprise to me. I think that Liv Morgan is a great talent. I think she just found her groove and that takes a while. Right. Like we like the same kind of things that we said about Liv Morgan. We said about Mandy Rose before she found Toxic Attraction. We said about Roman Reigns before he stepped into where he is now. We said about John Cena when he was going through that period where WWE was presenting him as a face and he wasn't getting that same treatment in return. Sometimes people just got to find their thing. And I feel like Liv Morgan has found her thing and it's part of what's making her one of the hottest acts in WWE. And I believe that this is one of the reasons as to why she 
can be a part of a talent agency. If you sign into an agency, it's because the agency thinks that you they can get work on your behalf, which means that you're marketable and you're good at what you do. So I'm not surprised there. But yeah, let me know how y'all feel about Liv getting signed to Paradigm Talent Agency. Let us know in the comments below.